It depends on who you ask, but I think the qualities that best make up an astronomer are having a passion, you know, being willing to drill away at a problem for a long time, so just having that perseverance is really necessary. It, people often think that with scientists or any specialized field, you have to like kind of be a prodigy and you know, be amazing and talented just from the beginning. But really what's more important is wanting to learn, wanting to figure something out, and being willing to spend the time to figure something out. So I think that's, that's really the biggest qualities I think that make a great astronomer. That drive to need to know what's going on and wanting to uncover it, and it's just that you know, continuing curiosity. I think what motivates me most is when I remind myself how amazing it is that I get to do this as a job. They shouldn't be paying me to do this, right? Like, I should be paying them because it's, it's such an, a fantastic experience and I get to do exactly what I've always kind of dreamed of doing and it's, a really, it's difficult but it's really rewarding. And I, yeah, so I just kind of remind myself every day like how fantastic this is. I work with Casey Papovich and we study kind of a variety of things but it's all focused on extragalactic astronomy. The galaxies I work with are on the other end of the universe, some of the first galaxies ever formed, and you know, less than a billion years after the Big Bang. And so the light that I see from them is, you know, like 12 billion years old. We know next to nothing about them. And some of the work that I'm doing is like the first ever done. Anything you figure out about these galaxies makes a high impact. Oh, what Taylor's doing is fantastic. First of all, it's extremely hard to do what she does. These galaxies, yeah, they're we find them with the Hubble, and we're using one of the largest telescopes, Keck, to follow them up, but they're still very, very faint. They're much fainter than the night sky. And so it's hard to imagine, when you look up and you see stars, well sure, they're brighter than the night sky. The things Taylor are looking at, they're fainter than the night sky. Truly a monumental task what Taylor has been doing. Sometimes it feels like I'm getting a degree in sci-fi a little bit. It's fantastic. My favorite thing is talking about it with people who don't actually do my science because it is really easy to, you know, kind of get bogged down by what you're doing and forget how amazing this is. I just get to travel all over the world and go to these amazing telescopes and take data with them and then you need to bring it back and then the rest of your year is spent reducing the data, processing it, trying to figure out if what you're looking for is found, things like that. When I go observing, that's when I feel most like I'm an astronomer because I get to you know, stay up at night and use these telescopes. <laughs>